Okay, electricity. I'm asked fairly often, do the systems use a lot of electricity? What's a lot of electricity? Does a dehumidifier use a lot of electricity? Well, I'd say it uses a pretty fair amount. So what does a heat recovery ventilator use? Um, what does a bath fan use? You know, these are some of the questions that I, I think you have to ask if you're going to ask that question of a heat recovery ventilator. So I, I think I've covered enough about the importance of fresh air in the house. So you, you can choose not to have a device in there that's going to ventilate um, because of the electricity use. But I mean, you know, if it was $40 a month, would it be too much to spend for health reasons? Uh, if it was $30 a month, would it be too much to spend? If it was $20 a month, would it be too much to spend? You know, what does your TV use? What does your computer use? Um, I believe the average TV nowadays is somewhere between 200 and 400 watts an hour. Um, and that's for entertainment. It's not even a health issue. But So the equipment that we offer... Venmar ventilators. We have units that uh, on high speed use upwards of uh, 400 watts. HEPA system, it's got a filter. It's kind of hard to push air through through a filter. You know, it causes resistance, so you need stronger motors. But of course, if you want the quality of air that's involved in HEPA filtration, the health reason may be more important than the amount of electricity there and, and there's a pretty easy calculation to figure out how much that is. Um, we have other units that um, uh, on high speed would use in the 250 watt range. Typically what is a system going to be? Typically a system is going to be on low speed, low volume of air. The average system that we have is going to use somewhere around 75 watts. If, if we're calculating electricity cost at uh, 14 cents a kilowatt hour through CMP, um, it's pretty easy calculation, but you're going to come up with somewheres in the area of, of about $10, $12 a month. If that's too much for you, or say, say you've got photovoltaic and you're off the grid, we do have a unit, the newest one that came out, extremely efficient when it comes to to electricity, it's got ECM motors, um, and it, it'll use somewhere around 26 watts. Um, if you calculate that at a 14 cents a minute, you're talking at about uh, two dollars and sixty cents a month. So, you know, is that a lot of electricity? I, I, I don't know. I can't determine for you what you consider to be a lot, um, but you'll have to determine how important the health aspect of this is and how much money you're willing to spend on that. So, you know, after the, the upfront cost of putting in a system, you know, an ongoing cost you do have to look at with anything that you put in, whether it be your furnace and you have to clean it every year and, and spend $125. I, I spend that to get my furnace cleaned every year. You know, what are, what are the ongoing costs? You know, how much electricity does your furnace burn? Is it ever even a question for you? You just accept the fact that I use electricity because you know what? I need heat in the house. Um, do you accept the fact if you've got a well that you've got a pump there that, that uses uh, uh, 220 volts and, and do you know what that, well, no, you accept that because you know you need water in the house. Well, I think a ventilation system should be probably categorized the same way. Uh, it's necessary in the house. Does it use some electricity? Yeah. Is it run up your heat bill? Does it double it or triple it? Some people have told me that. No. No. My, my, my electric bill and, and I've got six people in the house, we've got computers, all that. One time has it been over $100. Our, our, our clothes dryer is propane, but even when it was electric, I never had a heating or an electric bill that was over $100. So I guess the short answer is it uses electricity uh, on average about 75 watts, about the same amount of a, a year average uh, incandescent light bulb. Um, so pretty, pretty minimal.